Okay, so I just did that first reading and it's okay. You know, it's like, I, you know, it's kind of like a continuation, but like on another note, right? So, because it's like, oh my goodness. It does look like this particular energy from the previous one, okay? They they will make it to their destination. Um, it does, that Five of Swords could also be them fighting to get into a situation, but not not for too many of you, okay? Not for too many of you. Because right now it's like hurting. Someone's not healed from a situation. It's, I don't know if it's like disbelief. I'm, I'm not really sure. But um, someone's world's being rocked. I will tell you, if your world, if, if you're the other one, and this is like, you know your destined scenario because some of you just know stuff like that. You, you feel it, you know it, it's, it's in your soul. And it also depends on what cycle you are in your life too. Okay, it really does. Um, there's, there's three cycles. But, um, this is something people deserve. You deserve this type of love. You, you've been through a rough life. If the two of you deserve this type of love, love and money are the most powerful things in this world, okay? So, this would be a life partnership. It's a matter of how dedicated you want to be to each other and one another, or really how dedicated you are to your own soul. Um, so, on another note, let's see what type of energy we get. With the Nine of Cups being reversed, yeah, okay, someone's unhappy. I will tell you at one time, or you, or this person currently, who knows, was definitely in a codependent energy. Someone was always catering to someone, whether it's food, money, however, right? But that's arrogant energy, and it's dissipating, okay? So, so now it's turning into sorrow. Someone's recognizing something. You know, something's being transformed. But again, indecisive energy. But going through the transformative energy no matter what. Like, something's already been transformed. So somebody definitely has a chance to have a... this. The song just came. It's a whole new world, right? So it's like a magic carpet ride. But it doesn't feel like a magic carpet ride. But it can if you allow yourself to make it feel like a magic carpet ride. And if you're the other person waiting on someone, so it's like, here we go again with it, with energy. It's like, it's like we just read them, and I'm pretty sure this is theirs, okay? And it's not what I expected. And nor did I have expectations. I It was just like on another note, right? But like, this is clearly their energy. So, that, thank you. Let me just put it right there. Thank you. So, I really feel like it's it's definitely linked to their energy. Hold on. Unless this is the feminine. Let's see. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Unless it's the other energy where it's like you're just not happy with the situation either. You know, like, you have to go through a transformation. There's nothing you can do. No, but see, this is going to be successful with the... So no matter whose energy it is, you got the five of wands and the six of wands. So it's like, this could be... I guess it very well could be feminine energy. And it's like, you're not happy with the situation. But something is working out for you regardless. Whether it's this person or not, it's that simple. It's victory here. But even if it is the other energy, you know, I don't know if they're worried about competition, but this is saying they definitely do not need to. Tell me about the death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. 
Seven of Pens reverse, Page of Wands reverse. Yeah, no, damn. This is somebody fighting a new start. You know, like, it's <sighs> someone's ego has got to be getting in the way here. Because it's like they're choosing to invest time into something they should not be investing time into when they know they can have the new stat with the page of wands right there right but it's like it's like someone feels like they won but it's like what the frig do what what do you feel like you want and if you feel like someone's a prize then why the fuck are you not going after your prize jesus did you see my attitude right there like what the holy shit like, seriously, they they know they can be victorious with something. So you are dealing with energy that is kind of smug right now. Because they know they can and they're choosing not to. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, somebody... I don't even know if I want to continue this video. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of want to just not even post this. Oh, man. It's like people are still standing. This is the masculine energy, again, because they're the ones that the emperor needed to do this. It's like something's transforming that they didn't want to transform. They do and they want don't. It's like they want something so badly but don't want to leave a current scenario, troops. It's it's just that simple. I hope if you're the opposite one, you're just doing your thing and standing in your power. Because this is not the energy you want to interact with. You you believe me on that one. It's like if you're in a scenario, not working out. If you're arguing over the weekend, walk away. You can't win. Yeah. And somebody always wins. Somebody always has the upper hand. And that is freaking smug. This is someone definitely not being true to their own soul, their own desire. It's disappointing. It's sad. Can't win them all, guys. But this one sure as heck thinks they can. They don't They don't lose battles. They're, they're come they're coming bruised like they but like they can have a bruised ego <laughs> oh jesus but they don't they don't like to lose two of swords yeah so queen of wands if you're that queen of wands you're turning their back on it anyway you're like, I'm not dealing with that shit. I'm going to have a new stat. I'm not in this situation. I, yeah, see, like, she's not having it. She's just, she's not. Yeah, there could be love, but she got more love for herself. She's She took herself out of this restriction. She took herself out of a controlling type energy. At one point, she allowed it, probably because of attraction, probably because of a new stat. She will manifest elsewhere. She, this is you guys, like I just said, I really hope. You are not interacting with this. She's focused on work. She's focused on herself, her inner beauty. She's not even going to address that. That That's bullshit. She won't even address it. Unless it gets addressed to her, then at that point, she might. But right now, I'm telling you, she won't. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. She's, she's not. Maybe at one point, she was indecisive. Maybe she thought her happy came back because feeling happy right but then it's like I guess I was wrong I guess there is no start I, I guess now at this point you know this is this is a no so now you got this feminine being like wow you I thought you really were my wish I really thought it could go this way I really thought something could be transformed and now you got the feminine all up in her head 
being like, I don't know what to do with this anymore because I'm not doing this. And if you ask me as a feminine, I have to agree with you on this one. Because there's no point interacting with the Five of Swords. Because it doesn't look like this one's putting energy into you. If anything, it'd be trying to control an energy. Yeah, so you're not giving this any thought. Like, it, it's, you're just not, yeah, there could be feelings. You're not, you're not giving this any thought right now, and I don't, I don't blame you. And if you're in this situation, you're just taking yourself out of the equation. You're backing off. Because remember in the beginning, I thought this possibly, you know, on another note, this could be linked to her. So I can, I can definitely read this both ways. If it is the masculine, I'm telling you right now. <sighs> You were dealing with someone who was smug, constantly battling in their head, wanting their way when it came to something. It's, it's just that simple. And But not accepting a new start, but knowing who you are, right? And if it's the feminine, this, this was like a wish for you. It, it was wish fulfillment. You knew you could have it like that. Maybe you battled, maybe you reached out or something came back and, and you battled back and forth. But finally, you're like, you know what? This can be successful. I can tell something's been transformed, but yet they're still not making moves. So now as a feminine, you don't know what to do. Now you're indecisive on whether they communicate or not. At this point, you don't even know what you want anymore because if you went in for round two, I almost said if you went in for the kill, I don't know what that's regarding, but if you went in to try, it's not being reciprocated. And this is why. The communication is probably not on point. This could be an ending to all this. But I can't read it like that right now because you, this would be another woman being a continuation. On, on, a, on a side note, you know what I mean? And it's like, you're not putting any energy into this, nothing. You're just, you're not... You lay alien it to rest you. It's like, nope. But you, you're you still in it, but you're not. So you had to have come to the point where you became very indecisive in the last five days, five weeks. Where you're like, you turning your back because that would be you allowing that type of energy and right now you're like no fucking way maybe that's why this person has this energy because it is they were trying to work with like some type of energetic pull and, and like I said in the previous read it's not necessary tell me about this queen of wands yeah she's not looking at it as a loss you know I know it's like, I know I can have a future with you, but you know what? I'm not, I'm not looking at this as a loss at all. So this is somebody who gave it their all. She, she's not sitting back. She's not missing this person. She's not dwelling. She's not worried. This woman has been through a lot. She's, she's learned a lot. It wasn't easy to turn her back on a wish fulfillment. Especially when she knows it could have been successful. And it's the Queen of Cups. Can it be? Can she be emotional right now? Does it suck? Yeah. But you know what? The wheel's here. It's going to turn for you anyway. Maybe you were supposed to end this cycle with this person. You know, I know a lot of you... You never know who you are in the story. Or if you were really, if that wheel is going to come back in, in your advantage or not. But like for right now, I really wouldn't let this get the best of you. It looks like you're not. Normally at one point, I guarantee you let this get the best of you. But if I was to do this, I know you're not anymore. But see, you would be in that energy when you should be trying to self-comfort, right? So you've already been through that. Now you're just like, 
I can't win with this energy. And it, and it sucks because if you're saying that, it feels like a game. And again, not cool. So there was an energy shift. If, if it's meant to be, it will be. There's always ups and downs. And right now it looks like it was meant for you to experience this again with this person. Maybe you came in prematurely. I don't know. Because this hasn't been presented in a, in a little while, right? So it's like, I don't know if you went back in. Because you just, you wanted to, wanted to try. Is, is she happy? But now you're like, I shouldn't have. Because this is what you, this is what's being reciprocated. For a split second, you could have been like, oh, yes, there's going to be a turnaround. But then a day later, this is what you get. And unless this person wants to discuss this, you're not even attempting to interact with that. So good for you. It, it's, it's not it's good for you, really. That's the power. That's the power of love. And it, that is the power of love right there. Self-worth, self-love. For real, good for you. I'm sorry it all went down for you like that. And some of you might have expected more, but there's always shifts. Energy always pushes. This was an energy push that needed to be pushed because this needs to get pushed out of the picture. Because unavoidable. And somebody doesn't want to address it. It's that simple. Tell me about the Five of Swords. That's, that's good. That's an improvement. Somebody did deal with their demons. Okay. But this is still them. So this tells me they dealt with their demons but have not addressed something. Hope that makes sense. So it is an improvement. They did go through a transformation, so you probably were right. Absolutely. But they're not here. They would be addressing them, but they're not, right? Because they already know where they want to be. So, so now it's like, again, this is the energy they're battling. They are battling their ego. No matter how you look at it right now, this person wants an energetic win some way, somehow. You know, and it's like the battle, in, the battle of the ego. When they know that something can be successful. Again, not on you. Well, this is you, again, not stressing out, but it's going in this direction, right? So, again, this person's energy is getting better, but something's not being addressed. And I just, the crazy thing is, I the song that just came to me, I can't keep my hands off of you, you be like heaven to touch, I want to hold you so much, and that's the way that you, yeah, I see what I'm saying, it's like, what? But again, not your battle. It doesn't look like it's the feminine's battle. You can be battling your own thing, but not, not that type of battle. You took yourself right out of that energetic battle. Someone has no control over your energy, and they don't like it. And the thing is, it looks like the only thing is needed is a conversation and some effort. And then it's like, here comes your dreams. So that that's the crazy thing. You know, it that that really truly is the crazy thing. They look at you with such inspiration, desire. They don't they they they're not addressing it. You know. But again, I think you have enough strength to accept that. Accept what I'm saying to you. Because I literally, that would be you saying, you're lost. You're lost. Yep, unfortunately, it, 
absolutely my loss too, but I absolutely have self-worth, enough self-worth to know not to engage in that. And that's respect. And I'm not saying they don't respect you, but right now, it's not being reciprocated, if that's the case. You know, you're not putting effort into that energy and it, it, it truly is the right thing for you to do right now so go do what it is you do you know what i mean hi sweetie hi i'm just wrapping up this video um so that's lost my train of thought mia just came in that's awesome that that just happened because i was so all up in this energy and that's not the energy I want to be in either. But sometimes I ha I get sucked into the, the feeling, the empath, empathic problems. <laughs> you know, so I'm glad I just bounced out of that. I don't really need to. I don't, yeah, I bounced out of it. So I'm not even going to continue. Uh, there's more than enough information there, right? So, and somebody could be extremely upset, you know, that something's not working out. It, it's, it's the battle. The battle of the ego, the battle of thoughts is, you've already escaped it, right? Um, it doesn't mean there's, there's lack of love or, you know, yeah, baby. Can you already sleep over? No. No. Let me just finish this. Let me, let me, let me finish this. Um. All right, additional messages. Look at that. An epiphany is going to take place. Either you, them, the energy's flowing. It's, it's nice. It's nice energy. You know, you're not feeling restricted. Normally, this would be somebody coming to give you advice so you didn't feel restricted. So this is basically you not getting your answers, not receiving what you thought you needed. This is self-work. So that's fantastic, okay? Because right now, this energy is not coming to free you to free your mind. They're not talking to you. They're not freeing your thoughts. But this is telling me you didn't need no one to free your thoughts. You know how to free your own thoughts. You know how to move on and be happy and, and look at something with light. Look at something in a very optimistic way and, and push through and move forward. That, that takes a lot. A lot, a lot of work. So congratulations. You know, I know some of you would actually rather it be that way and someone and give you that clarity. But you know what? You're getting that clarity yourself, that epiphany moment yourself. I can't battle with that energy. As much as you might want to because of love. Because it's a mutual connection from the previous read. So as much as you might want to, you know you can't. You wouldn't win. So I do feel your heartache, but I also see your strength, and I'm proud of you. So in case no one's told you that lately, I'm proud of you, because this is a tremendous push, knowing that something is not going in your direction right now when you had the impression that it would. So again, not for everybody, some of you will get that dream come true, okay? And others of you, it might take a little longer. It will always come just in the way you didn't think. So don't think the previous reads and what we've been reading won't come. It's, again, if this person is meant to be and it does come, there was just another little cycle you guys had to push through. But I'm going to give you that inspiration that you need now, right? Because you need it. And this can go the other way. This could be them all of a sudden getting like an epiphany. And then they will come talk to you. But you didn't need them to. You wanted them to. 
So again, I'm extremely proud of you. And if this is the other person coming towards you, I'm extremely proud of them because this is tough energy to push through. So I'm proud of anybody who pushes through this. Yeah, this person, they're, you know, I, I, I hope this comes into play for you because there's a lot of fulfillment here, okay? But let's hope they can have that moment and, and free themselves. So, no matter who that belongs to, I'm proud of you. Enjoy your Saturday. Bye, guys.